What up, though? What up, though? Man, dog, back with another video. So, man, I want to uh, give it up for one of my favorite groups. Uh, honestly, probably my second favorite group in hip hop, Bone Thugs and Harmony. So, yesterday I seen, uh, if not yesterday, the day before, I seen that all four members was together on Instagram. They made a video and they were saying, yo, we getting ready to uh, get, get in production for a new album, so send beats. I'm like, what? Let's go, man. Like, I, I always love and appreciate the fact that no matter what, Bone still together doing their thing, man. I see Busy Bone just dropped a new album two weeks ago. I uh, I checked out some of it, not all of it, because I honestly got hip to it, like, like honestly, two days ago. I didn't even know. Because uh, it, it's, it's flash crazy, lazy, and wish I didn't see Busy Bone. So I, uh, I go on there on his page, you know, I'm like, oh, damn, he dropped a new album? And I, I just hope that he a, he be a part of it, you know. Like, if I'm not mistaken, I think his profile picture is Bone Thugs and Harmony. Like, you know, I think he's still down with his crew and everybody, you know. I, I pray that Busy Bone be a part of the album, but yeah, man, if y'all ain't know Bone Thugs and Harmony is getting ready for the, uh, to, to work on a new album, man, I cannot wait to hear that. So today was like a Bone Thugs and Harmony day, bro. I just took it back to their first album, uh, Faces of Death, when they was the young dogs, when they was young Bone, Bone Enterprise, for those that don't know. And uh, I didn't even know Bone had a, uh, a, a, it was an acronym, like it had a meaning behind it. Blood it out niggas every day. I did not know that, you know? Like, man, I, I like growing up, bro, y'all know I was No Limit This, That, and the Third, West Coast, you know, Detroit, but, I, I fucking love Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. Like, I remember my birthday back in 2000. They dropped that album, BTNH Resurrection. Bone Thugs and Harmony Resurrection. That was the song. They had the uh, single, Paper Paper. My auntie brought me that for my birthday. She brought me that CD for my birthday. And that was uh, around the time we thought Bone Thugs and Harmony had broke up. So when that album came out, I'm like, "What? They still together and rocking? Let's get it!" But yeah, man, I just always was a fan of uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. Like, it, I really was all the way there, all the way there with it in high school, man. I had people on my ass, like, man, they don't listen to them. They devil worshippers and all of that, you know. But uh, yeah, I was just like a real huge fan of Bone. And speaking of that, bro, but when you listen to their interviews and watch them, especially Crazy Bone, like he put it all out there. He was like, we didn't know what that shit, man. We just started with some cool artwork, some dope artwork for our album. You know, like we ain't, we ain't on that. You know, Busy Bone, he's a heavy believer in the Lord. You know, Busy Bone, you know, even at the, uh, the, 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 the uh, 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 what was that, the verses? You know, they, they, you know, y'all seen that versus a few years ago. Busy Bone lost it, you know what I'm saying? He got on live talking about, we hear that demonic shit that y'all niggas on. They, and them niggas, them niggas was really on it, you know what I'm saying? And of course, the verses I was riding with Bone on that, you know? I ain't really no 3-6 Mafia type dude. They got a few tracks, but I ain't really, you know, they ain't, they, they ain't my lane, you know what I'm saying? But oh uh, yeah, man, I used to, uh, when I was younger, I'm trying to rap, like I said, you know, I love Bone Thugs and Harmony. So you got Busy Bone, Wish Bone, Fleshy Bone, Lazy Bone, and Crazy Bone. I used to call myself Doggy Bone. Like, I just wanted to be down with Bone, man. I liked that they whole style, they swag, man. Them dudes can rap, dog. And man, yo, they make the best. I, I cannot, I, I do not smoke weed. I know that, and I, I said this in multiple videos. I like the weed songs better, like 50 Cent High all the time. Nah, smoking. So when we get on the subject of Bone Thugs and Harmony, they got this song that was on that, uh, that compilation album. The first one, it's called P.O.D. I love that record so much, man, because they, uh, they, they like, they sample an old school beat. And you, you got, uh, 
You got Crazy Bone coming on there. My nigga, let's get P.O.D. it. Bro, listen to that if y'all ain't heard. It is a classic, dope record. It's about weed, but it is just, like, beautiful, man. It's, 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 it's dope. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to go because it's big truck turning. And, uh, yeah, man, they make some of the best weed music. And, uh, of course... And, um, yeah, man, I, I just wanted to be like a, a member of Bone Thugs and Harmony, bro. Like, when I, that's when I started getting into rapping, like, wanting to rap. I was writing rhymes and shit, man. I, I never could rap as fast as them, though. I never could do that. I never was, like, cold at rapping like that, like how they was. I never could rap fast. I tried it, but it just wasn't working for me. But, yeah, man, I, I love Bone Thugs and Harmony. So, yeah, my favorite album by them, of course, is probably everybody's favorite album you know but i gotta agree with y'all on this one yeah east 1999 eternal that is the best bond album that mug is hard from front to back back to front it's a classic bro and uh i just love it my favorite song is eternal i know that song by heart front to back man that was just like my, one of my songs my go-to songs you know what i'm saying and uh, i just love it so a story a long time ago man kids i was a kid man i wasn't no more than that album came out of what 96 i think i was like eight years old bro so i was like eight nine years old no i think that album came out y'all know what year the album came out but anyway i was no more than 19 years old man i'm no more than 10 years old i'm gonna say so summertime you know my parents my, my mother my stepfather because uh, it's me and my brother It's me and my little brother and my little sister We went to I, I forgot what it was called I forgot if it was Six Flags Four Bears It was something that we had back in the day And uh It was real popular and it had like a water slide and all type of dope shit. You know, you had to drive pretty far to get to the motherfucker, man. So, we, we used to do that a lot back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Our parents would take us every summer somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... And, uh, sorry, I was fucking with my lights. But, uh, yeah, our parents would take us somewhere every every summer. So, this particular summer, it was like the summer of all summers. I'll never forget this day. So, we drove there and back. My stepfather played the whole Bone Thugs and Harmony. Like, on the way there and on the way back, you know. And it was just like, going there was just like, I had so much fun. And I only be remembering shit because of music. So, that album was like... A major part of my uh my upbringing you know what i'm saying me coming up like i just love that album you know eternal of course you got burst of the month you know what i'm saying the song that's played at the beginning of every month that's another song that's not gonna go nowhere just like i was saying in that tupac video dear mama they're gonna play that every mother's day every first of the month for the rest of our lives and our children's lives and grandchildren's lives they're gonna play first of the month at the first of the month you know what i'm saying the crossroad a video that I'm sure scared the shit out of everybody when they was a kid, just like it did me. <laughs> but, yeah, Crossroad. Oh, so for those that don't know, when the, before the album dropped, they released the single CD. So back in the days, they would do that. And uh, it would be the, the single to the album, but it will also have three other tracks on the album. So this was, it was just called Crossroads. And, you know, it had uh, the word Crossroads and it had... Uh, each bone member, four members in uh, in the picture. So uh, uh, it had the original song, the instrumental, and it had the edited version. But it had the original bone song. They switched it up apparently. But me personally, I prefer the original over the one that everybody know about. So for those that don't know original, it, uh, just to type it in, it's on YouTube, but it goes, 
And while even though you're gone, gonna still got love from bone, bone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I prefer that one over the, you know, one that we all know today. You know what I'm saying? I just felt that song more, it was deeper, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it gave you that real, you know, RP song feeling like, you know, I miss you, dog. You know what I'm saying? Versus the one that we all know to this day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you had that. And uh you had uh what else? I said crossroads. So yeah, my favorite song Eternal. But of course we can't forget about East 1999. East 99. Like that was just like th that video scared me too. But uh, it, it was it was dope, man. I, 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 I love that song. So you got uh, the getaway, the '71, the getaway, Mr. Bill Collector. I'm sure that's a lot of people's favorite song too. Like I know what it means and all of that. But that song, the beat and everything, the flow is it's just it's just mad dope. That first album was a classic, man. It is a classic. I'm not gonna say it was. It is a classic, bro. It's a timeless classic, man. That first album was the truth, man. Two weed songs. Blood Smokers Only and Booty Love. Bo I said Booty Lovers. <laughs> Booty Lovers. Uh, what else you got on there? Shots to the Double Glide. Land of the Heartless. Uh, bro, it's just it's just an endless album of, of fire, man. And I love it, dog. I ain't gonna lie, when I was a kid, bro, because if y'all remember in the book, it had that old, it had a spell in there. I'm so glad by the by the power of God that I did not read that. That album had a real life spell in the book. That's crazy. Cause I was curious, like, what is this? But it's like it kicks in, like, yo, that's that's nothing good. It's evil. So somebody told me it's like if you put it up to the mirror, you can actually see what it says. You know. Don't read the shit, though. It was always something in me, like, don't read that shit, man. But I was just curious, like, what, what is this? Why is this even in here? But he talked, but uh, Lazy Bun said that, like, we really didn't know, man. You know, we on a new label, you know, we, we putting out an album, bro. They, you know, they was uh, adding the skulls and bones and all of that, you know. It, it, that was crazy. I didn't know that. Because it's like, when you get older, when you start learning about stuff, it's like, damn, man, Bone, why did y'all do that? Because y'all already know what they say about hip-hop, rap, you know, it's it's demonic, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, for them, for him to say that, it's like, I look at the shit different now. He's like, we ain't had no control over that. The label wanted to do that. We was like, all right, you know, we looking at it as art. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said. We looking at it as, as art. So, uh, yeah, man. So, oh, before that, they come out with uh, Creeping on a Come Up. That's the one. Man, I forgot. All, I'm sorry. I forgot all about that. For the love of money, thuggish, workers, bone. No surrender. Down for my thing. Man, I forgot all about that. I apologize, y'all. That was before East 1999 Eternal. Yep, they had this eight album, eight song AP. The introduction, Mr. Ouija. Fuck that song. But, uh, yeah. Got for the for the love of money. Thomas Classics featuring the late great Easy E man. Douglas Ruggers Bone, another Thomas Classic. Old girl, she she recently went viral. We sang in that that her her chorus to that song. Man, them boys, the Bone made some some great music, and they they still going hard. Like yeah, I just I just I just went back to all the old Bone shit. Man up until I listened to Busy Bone new album. Not all of it, some of it. I uh I checked out, I went back to uh the album uh Busy Bone Drop back in 2019. I think it was called Carbon Monoxide. And I also went back to the uh, album Lazy Bone dropped in 2019. I went back to these albums because if y'all don't know, if y'all remember, 2019 was the year they actually was beefing against the Migos. Cause you know, Offset Stupid Ass talking about we the best rap group. You know what I'm saying? Lazy Bone felt a certain type of way, which I don't blame him. 
because Bone was, you know, like, why y'all keep leaving out Bone? You know, Bone was the niggas, man. And, uh, you know, they, was, they, they had issues, you know, so that album, it was called uh, Annihilation, and he was just on Amigo's ass on that album. Like, Lazy Bone was not letting up on them niggas in that year, too, as well. Busy Bone dropped the album. He said his one, two against them cats as well. But uh, yeah, I went back to all of that. I revisit all the early Bone shit like Faces of Death, East 1999 Eternal. Uh, what else? What was that one I just said? Creeping on the Come Up. And I also Bone Thugs and Harmony Resurrection. And I also uh, listened to World War. Uh, <coughs> bless me. World War Volume 2. The one that had the, uh, this one and this two on there. It featured Thug Love with Tupac. Yeah, I went back to that album. And it also featured the song for the Batman or uh, Batman Forever soundtrack from in 97. Look Into My Eyes. Yeah, that album. I had that on there. Yep, I went back to that. I went back to uh, a Crazy Bone mixtape that he released in like 2003. Yeah, man, it was just a Bone Thugs and Harmony day, man. I just was revisiting all the old classic shit, some of the new shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I listened to Flesh and Bone album. I forgot the name of it, but I checked that out. Uh, the one that got the Thug song on there. And uh, what else? Uh, what else? Yeah, it was just like I said, it was just a Bone day, man. I just, I wasn't fucking with nothing but Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. Bumping all the classic shit, man. And it's just like, it was, it was like, yo, that just got me even more excited. Like, yo, I cannot wait for this new album because when they get together, bro, they don't miss, man. And I love it. They don't miss. I'm fucking around, might even sit down and watch the movie. I tried. Classic film about how Bone got started and what would have happened if they wasn't Bone Thugs and Harmony. If y'all ain't seen that, check it out. It's called I Tried really dope it, it's on the low budget side but when you see that motherfucker you would think that it came out in the movies it got some familiar faces in there y'all gonna record y'all gonna see if y'all haven't seen it but if y'all did see it that's what's up you know i might sit down and watch that today but yeah man shout out to both those of harmony man a great group all five members i don't have a favorite member i love the whole group but if i had to choose man if i had to choose i would fucking have to say no, I can't choose. I don't have a favorite member. I don't. I used to say Crazy Bone, but I think everybody used to say that. But it's like when you really fuck with them niggas, you don't have a favorite member. You love them all as one. So yeah, I don't have a, member, a favorite member. Shout out to all of them. I love all of them to death. I, 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 I need Wishbone to drop an album though. The whole mob done dropped the album, but Wishbone. You know, so Wishbone, we need an album from you. Wishbone was cold, man. He cold. They all cold. Like you, you get the best with with all five members. And I really hope Busy Bone be a part of this album, man. Cause I know he said he was he was like on the he ain't touring with them no more. And you know, it's like damn. But uh, yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony appreciation, man. Long overdue. I know I did my collection video last year or two years ago, but. I never really talked about how much the group meant to me, how much of an impact they had on my life. Like I said, man, that's my second favorite group because, you know, I was no limit. True was the first. So Bone Thugs and Harmony was second. Like I said, my name was Doggy Bone. I'm Lil No, it was, it was Lil Bone. Lil Bone, that was my name because I just wanted to be a part of them niggas when I started rapping. I was like, yo, I hope I can make, you know, some really good music and, and get it to them and I can, you know, be a part of the team. But yeah, my name was Lil Bone, dog. I was like, I was a young dog. I was like, I don't even think I was a teenager when I tried this shit. But yeah, like, I fucks with that group, man. I remember uh, just being so fascinated with the artwork at the time. Like, yo, this is dope, man. They are, they got some of the best artwork. Like, not like on the No Limit Cash Money side, but they had some really sweet artwork that I like. And, uh, I remember, because my oldest brother, he's a DJ, so he had everything of anybody you can name, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I uh, I was looking at his collection, 
and uh, I didn't even know about this album at the time. But uh, it was the World War whatever the fuck World War One World War One Volume Two shit. It was that album, and uh, when I seen the the like the CD of it, I was like, "What's this?" I didn't know it was Bone Thugs and Harmony, but just off the artwork, the skulls and bones and shit, I was like, "Yo, I gotta hear this." Turned it on, played that album, I fell in love with it. So yeah. That album is probably my second favorite. It's East 99 Eternal and the World War album. And they came out with volume three later on, later on, like 2013, I think. Then they did Strength and Loyalty and they got a track on there with Mariah Carey and Bow Wow. That was different, man. I'm like, look at Bone Thugs and Harmony, dog, doing something different, man, because you so used to the gangster shit. But uh, it was uh, it was different to hear that, you know. And uh, I got that too. I got like I think I'm, I, I I don't got every Bone album, but damn near, you know. It's probably a few more I gotta get. But yeah, shout out to Bone man. Let me know how y'all feel about the group. Y'all favorite album, favorite songs. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's that dog, the biggest dog of them all. And the dog is out.